Adobe just dropped a brand new Premiere Pro update that includes some huge changes and improvements. The Twitter 3.5 update of Premiere Pro introduces new metadata and timecode burn-in effect, guidance for installing the Brawl plugin, important fixes, quality and performance improvements and more. So this is actually insane because Adobe rarely mentions any performance improvements to Premiere Pro. So this is definitely a big step forward. So the first change is that it's now easier to display important metadata and burnt in time codes in Premiere Pro. So for people that need to display really important information, this could be really helpful for them. I also mentioned that the burnt in time code is a highly requested feature that allows us editors to communicate with others more easily. So basically, you only need to apply the new metadata and time code burnt in effect and then in effects controls you should have a drop down menu with, with dozens of options to choose from. You also have different lines in which you can add other important data. Adobe has made it even easier to get started working with Blackmagic raw footage which will guide you through different steps in order to get the right plugin that you need to start working. So this is a really good change. I don't really understand why you would need a plugin in order to edit Blackmagic raw footage. Maybe I'm missing something. Please let me know in the comments. We've also improved timeline scrubbing and playback. Both we will continue to focus on performance and quality quality enhancements. So we made optimizations to how the timeline feels when you're working on it. Dragging the play it always feels smooth and precise, with your cursor perfectly aligned to the frame. I'm really glad that they are finally working on some good playback improvements, since editing on 4K can be quite annoying as the playback can be really slow. You can now also keep track of when your team project is saved and fully synced up. The tooltip will also notify you that changes made offline and locally will update when they're connected to your internet. And speaking of team projects, you can also choose an autosave location in where all your saved versions will be stored. So currently in beta is a new audio auto-tagging feature. Quote, the new audio auto-tag feature in Premiere Pro automatically categorizes audio files into dialogue music, sound effects or ambience. It surfaces easy to use controls specific to that category in the central sound panel so you can get to work quickly creating professional quality sound. So this is really useful for those who are doing sound design and other important stuff like that. Adobe is still working on SRT support for Premiere, which they have been doing since Premiere Pro version 23.4, which I covered in a previous video if you want to check that out. They are also still working on the color manager, which basically combines all the color settings into one window, which I personally am really excited about to see how it will look like. They are also still working on making it more easily to collaborate with other people by using their new share button. And maybe the most important feature in the beta is the new recovery mode. This mode allows you to recover projects more easily after Premiere Pro crashes. I really think that this can be a lifesaver for some people. Adobe still needs to fix all these random crashes that occur from time to time. Speaking of fixes, Adobe has fixed plenty of different issues with the current 23.5 update, so it could be worth updating for those who may have been experiencing any of the problems shown on the screen. Subscribe.